No, no tea. Uh, <laughs> so he, so he, so he just sort of like waves off the offer of tea. Oh come on now! I'll, 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 when you're Mungo, you'll get you some tea. I'll, <laughs> I'll get you some. Mungo will get you some tea. Mungo will be right back. Mungo's gonna pop outside, get some mud water, put it into a mug, and give it to the cart. <laughs> Wow. Genuinely, or <laughs> with a few sleeping pills in there. That's genuine. He thinks no. He thinks that is tea. <laughs> Does he know? Yeah, he's not he's the never, smartest tool, you know. He's never drunk tea before. It just looks like mud water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does somebody want to read out Max's comment here? Uh, honey, I invite. Yeah, let's get two two, two people to read this out. Okay, go on. Honey, then. I invited my barbarian to dinner. That's okay, honey. Wait, did you lock the door? I think so. Oh! <laughs> Don't break the door! Oh, bang it! <laughs> no, imagine, imagine the scene above with Posh Mungo. Honey, I invited my barbarian to dinner. That's okay, honey. Wait, did you lock the door? I think so. Ah! Oh! No, 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 <laughs> Mungo, break the door. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, quiet. There we go. I have donned on the fedora and the monocle. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Quite. Oh dear. Nice. Jolly good. Right, so are you going to check this door then? Right, oh! What? Posh, what? Not, what? <laughs> oh, Victor's bully. not posh. He is bully. far from it. <laughs> um, I, I wasn't joking. Posh. I wasn't joking when I said that I was getting a good water. Good water. Okay. <laughs> right. So I'll, I'll move Mungo then, I guess. There we go. Hmm. Okay, okay, right. right. Well, um, yeah, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't expecting to have to deal with this. Not really, no. I planned for everything but this. Lion. Nobody plans for muffins. Lion, you, you, you're doing a stream with Monkey and Muffins. I plan for many things, but I wasn't planning for Posh Mungo. <laughs> no one expects Posh Mungo. No one expects Oh, whatever expects this Okay, well, Mungo pops out momentarily and then returns a few <clears throat> moments later with a glass. I'm not quite sure where he got the glass. Um, a handful. <laughs> full of what appears to be like brownish kind of goldish water. Yep. And he attempts to hand it Pass to it the guard the behind at the reception desk. Pass it through the bars. The, 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 yeah, the, the guard again just sort of waves it off in a slight bewilderment. Victor, would you like to roll like uh, at least some kind of check for this door then? Yep. At <laughs> least no, it is not PG tips. <laughs> oh, great. It's, hot. It's, it's, it's Earl Brown. <laughs> it's called old. E it's called old English breakfast. Hmm, yeah. earthly flavor to it. Quite an earthly flavor. <laughs> In fact, it is almost entirely earthly flavor. His is actually dirt. Fred, Fred you Bushy is actually quite earthy. Oh, I say. You can still taste the tea leaves. Wait, no, that's just actual leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind the fish pieces. They're perfectly normal. <laughs> wow. Why are there fish Okay. Edgecock, Jesus. Is it coming to? Let, let's not ask. Roll. Let's really not ask. <laughs> it was uh, a fish pond. <laughs> just, just. Um, like, I'm just asking. Can I get the uh, glass through the um? Bars. Can I get the glass through the bars? <laughs> yes, but you can't like reach all the way over to the other side of the desk. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it through there, and uh, I might accidentally knock it over on his desk, whatever his guard paperwork. Poor fellow. <laughs> Make a dexterity check. <clears throat> yes. Is this a cunning plan to get him to leave the desk? Maybe. <laughs> Bugger. <laughs> Unfortunately, not, he managed not to knock it off. It's a technique. These, um... Yeah. These rolls don't like me. <laughs> Can we change the dice, like? <laughs> No, we can't. Although it is worth noting that they did recently output a uh, a big patch for Roll20. That means that they are now running on a slightly different dice system. Yes, they oh, did. Right. And it's, uh, I believe it's a lot better now. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> so to speak. Posh Mango makes right. me sad. Hmm. Uh, 
So, Victus, with your 19, you are uh, slightly unable, I'm afraid, to get oh. the door open. You can confirm, however, that it is, it is indeed locked. However, you expect that you're probably <clears throat> going to need a, to work on it for a bit of time. That's fine. I'm going to keep working on it. Still not there. Do, you want me to okay. roll, do I need to roll again, or can I just work on it until it opens? I I will assume that you're like taking ten or taking twenty. I know, sorry, so again. Player, I, can't remember. I will just assume that you're taking twenty on this. Yes. So the question now 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 the only matter is making sure the receptionist doesn't spot you, which you may want to nudge Odo about. Yeah, that was <laughs> going to be my next thing. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, Odo, if you could. Uh... So I'm just gonna actually no, I'm not even gonna speak. I'm just gonna look at Odo and just sort of, you you know you know where you sort of do you know your mean. eyes towards, yeah. you know just understood. Over there while I do this, understood. Uh, I'll I'll go over to the receptionist and uh, is it male or female? Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. Good day. I'm gonna put on the old Odo charm. <laughs> I remember when I was gonna put some pants on today. Oh, oh. Alright, darling, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I got pants on today. Yeah. You know, at one time, I was a tall, attractive female elf. <laughs> <laughs> At least I thought I was. <laughs> Alright, uh, darling. Do uh, to love to no, I don't think muffins can see the map now, now at all. I cannot see a thing. I'm, uh... I can't live the posh life, the monocle hurts. Oh, no, what? <laughs> <laughs> Bin has cheesecake. I want cheesecake. Uh, focus, man. Focus. No cheesecake for you. Slap. I've got crisps. <laughs> <laughs> Not posh. <laughs> oh, I hit my head on the mic. We have the, we have the another. On the contrary, my good friend Andy, I'm eating in excess. And as such, I am thereby deploring the lower masses of the food and nastiness that they require. The poshest thing ever. We've got Vianetta. That's posh. <laughs> See, right. I need to the lower oh, class foods and they can't eat. <laughs> okay. Um, I go with the receptionist then. Um, this is my male or female, I mean, honestly. And I flirt with them <laughs> to distract oh, them. Oh, jeez. Right. Hey, right, darling. Do you want to polish my shield? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> The receptionist <laughs> looks significantly less bewildered at you, <laughs> like them don't go, um, and just sort of like sits up in their chair a bit to peer over the over the verge and like and see your shield. It's wood, ain't it? Um, just you one second. Polished wood. <laughs> he's, pe he's peered over the edge, hasn't he? <laughs> yes. Don't slap him. So his head is quite not from the not. No, no. It is not. How, how can he do that? How can he look over the edge and down at, at Odo without his head being close to the bars? <clears throat> and we've established that my He's fingers sitting can reach up in his chair. Ah, <laughs> oh, <bust. laughs> <laughs> As wasn't illustrated. <laughs> I definitely wasn't <laughs> planning to like wrap his head brain among the bars. Definitely not. <laughs> Anything to declare, sirs? Not really, just thought I'd, uh, see what you're doing. What time do you get off work? <laughs> We're saying a pub, fellas. You can't just come in here and hang out. No, no, I'm not hanging out. I don't do it. I, I, I generally want to know. What time do you get off work? You're quite an handsome fella. <laughs> well, my wife seems to think so. <laughs> She's a very lucky wife. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, thought of experiment. <laughs> 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 you can really spice up the relationship. <laughs> Getting a little dwarf in there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh so, this is the night to get a staff I just want to say, and thus the stream players. returns to this. I'm, gonna, I'm tempted to find an R18 thing. Uh, yeah. um, just a staff member here, can you just make this 18? Like, <laughs> Oh my god. I am not role-playing porn. <laughs> no. Just saying that no, now. No, 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 that's not what we're um, doing. Actually, no, no, we're doing. not role-playing no, no, porn. No, no, no. <laughs> just oh bear the scene from my mind. We're not just, going that far. Just to, take them home. The subject, just to change the subject, uh, the stream's frozen for me. Is it frozen for anybody else? Oh uh, no. Nope, still moving for me. Oh, good. Okay, now we're off that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the Adam and Laughing as well, which is good. 
Right, <laughs> you could say that the guard puts his head near to the bars is... so I can reach through and concuss him on the... <laughs> Is this a case of sort of the thing in a relationship where, you know, like, when you get your spouse to laugh, it's like, haha, you laughed, you can't be angry at me anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually the case. Ah, <laughs> uh, you laughed, I'm okay, it's clear. McCatchy doesn't really at look this, at, at this point, no RP the receptionist We're being told looks, by between, a staff looks between the two of you and just sort of very, as politely as he can, recommends that you leave. Oh, well, when you mungo, you can't go for that, old chap. I need to see my friend Heidel Gronus. You see, he's gravely hurt and injured. Oh, my God. What is happening? This is not what I imagined when I made this stream. <laughs> Did you not? Just... <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Andy, you're the one who wanted to go out this Metal Gear style if you just <laughs> need to do mine. I have an idea just in case things go absolutely tits up, but I want to try and do this first. <laughs> Victor pulls out a sword and stabs the as does Mongo. End of. Oh my god. <laughs> how, how wide are these bars, by the way, if I can fit a glass through them? Nine. <clears throat> uh, about as wide as your hand is, oh. basically. About as wide as my hand is. Does anybody have a long sword? Yes. Uh, yes, but I can't Just tell you. Just stab it through the bars. S something to... Something tells me you are not going to be borrowing. You are not going to be borrowing the paladin's longsword to stab the receptionist at the guardhouse. <laughs> well, can I can borrow that, please. Right. No reason, just want to borrow it. <laughs> when you Mungo, you've got to try. Um, Mungo is going to go up to Tarry and ask if he can borrow her longsword. <laughs> well, uh, he does this. I'm still trying to flirt with the uh, guard to distract him as long as possible for Victus to uh, unlock the door. Yeah, have I managed that yet? Right. Uh, you've got a little bit longer to go, I think. Okay. You're pretty I sure you can get this done. I don't give up easy, time. darling. Um, <laughs> ha, 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 when you mungo, uh, mm -hmm. would Tarry allow lendage of her sword? Um, depends on what it's for. Just for inspection. Toothpick. What sort yeah. of inspection, and is it something well, I could do instead? When you, mungo, not... when you mungo, you have a bit of food stuck between teeth and need long toothpick. Would you like to have a go? I'd rather not, thank you very much, because I think the long sword would do more damage than toothpick. A butt when scratcher. When you mungo, you're fine. <laughs> you use swords and daggers for toothpicks all the time. Butt scratcher! Butt scratcher! <laughs> Much scratcher. <laughs> okay, is it is it is it, is it um, sort of okay to assume that I have my longsword like sheathed just at my side? Ah, uh, yes, it's reasonable to assume. Okay, well, if Mongo the receptionist can't exactly like confiscate weapons as to enter. No, if Mongo wants to try and roll a spot to, or something, or just to see, unless it's just plainly obvious. It's been walking me for long enough. I imagine it was obvious. I do have a uh, no. I'm using my own iron shield. I took. I had the long sword from the uh, guard we killed. Guard. The captain. Right. I am not seeing that listed on your character sheet. No, no, no. I'm, no, not, I'm, not, no, no, I'm not using the XL sheet. I'm using uh, a worded one just because uh, I can size all the information. But I got. He, he, long... did, he did get a long sword though. Yeah. I got a long sword chain I shirt. Uh, and I've used the long sword before. Yeah. If so, you want, I can hand you the the document I've been using. Andy, the way the way that you're pronouncing that just keeps on reminding me of a uh, James Bond. Long short. Long short. <laughs> if you want, I can hand right. you the document. Reminds me of Bandit Cumberbatch's penguin documentary. My penguin. Penguin. Yeah. <laughs> so many penguins. <laughs> just, if I could get a long sword and stab this guy in the face, we can we can proceed. Just. <laughs> Well, anyway, as I said, I, I have the long sword. I'll hand you the document afterwards. As I said, I, I made a word document separate to concise all the information so it's easier. Wait. Or odd hand that's coming him, if I need to. <laughs> Don't worry. If you stab him, there will be blood. Yes, his blood. No. <laughs> that's this like, is not happening. That's like the, that's like the most like generic like cinematic. Like, <laughs> there will be blood. That's if I stab, I will go into a rage. 
There will be blood. Hmm. There might be. You never know. Well, I will stab him. There will be blood, and I will go into a rage. But wouldn't wouldn't the guard you're trying to stab also shout for other guards if he thinks he's being attacked? Well, I'm, I'm gonna I'm stab hoping. you, stabby, stabby. <laughs> and we're currently in a barracks full of I hope soldiers. I you're not discussing this. Where you're standing. <laughs> Yeah, oh, no. no, 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 this is out of character. It's, yeah, this is metagaming, okay, basically. Yeah, Victor, so you have managed to unlock the door. Okay. Relatively right. without any kind of, like, sound. Mouth. Right, well, can I open it very <laughs> slightly and have a look on the other side? I'm gonna yes, your could face you go with for me? Stab him in the mouth, great. <laughs> That's from the stuff. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I have an idea <laughs> just in case things go absolutely tits up, so we'll see. We're all gonna yep. move to Ethiopia. So I don't need to um, distract him anymore since the door is now open. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest just going, okay, bye, <laughs> and just going <laughs> to the right and going through the uh, door. I wasn't going to, I was just going to. Some people. Jesus. <laughs> so um, I disrobe. <laughs> <laughs> Not this again! <laughs> and in sheer embarrassment, I run at the door. <laughs> Oh dear God! What happened to my clothes? Um, Which door? That what, one. The, what are you I'll doing? Go, I'm gonna just. I'll go away. I'll go from here. <laughs> right. I, th I think we need to take a step back and just reevaluate our position. Because something has gone terribly wrong. <laughs> or terribly right. Oh, very right. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay. So I, I don't. Lock the door. Move silently, please. Yep. Yeah, we'll do. Not that I don't think it's going to make much difference considering what's going on outside. Yeah, yeah. Stabby, stab! Stabby, stab, stabby! Stab, stab! 16. Okay, you managed to get the door open uh, without it making a considerable amount of noise. <laughs> God damn it, can't you proceed normally with those you know, smashing something, going berserk or getting naked? No. no it's <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I so I, I can't see any I can't see anything through there. So what's this? What? Yes, sappy girl, I did. Uh, I like how as near as you can make out in the distance, it's a door. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go through then. So. Okay, are you going to let Odo and other people know about what's happening? Or? Uh, well, I assume that they. Oh, I'm moving in anyway. I'm... Especially considering. I also would like to know if you're going to be dousing your torch, considering the location you're now in. Well, yeah, I would have done that. Well, okay, but if we're going to go into that, I would have done that the second I went into the room. Okay. Yeah. So, you move through the door, quiet as can be. Are you letting other, other people know that you've opened it? Tarek, where are you going? I, you're in, like, perfect position to spot what's Do happening. Do you want to let be... just know that you've opened it? Um, <laughs> seeing as I don't want to be the one going through these... I don't want to be going through these doors without permission. Permission, yeah. So, I understand that the reason... It's for the you, best, though. I understand the reason behind you guys doing this is to get to Gronus, but I can't do it myself. You realise that the security, that the uh, receptionist has seen you with us now, so if anything does go cocks up, you will become an accessory to uh, this crime. You, your best bet would have just been to leave before we started this. What would I do? Just have a party. Do what Ame Udro did. <laughs> Mel Gear 3, Naked Dwarf. Actually, <laughs> does this barracks have anything to do with um, the Guild of St. Cuthbert? Uh, not that you're aware of, but you could ask the receptionist. Who's now been mooned. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, the, like... Uh, Monkey, are you actually like? Oh yeah, I'm like I'm, I'm, I'm Starkers right now, and I'm I'm hoping that it distracts the uh, the uh, receptionist so that he doesn't look because he doesn't want to see a dwarf naked. What the hell? So he goes no, and then I in that moment I go through the open door. See that the open plan. door that Victor just went through. Yes. Oh, God. 
Eat, eat you. <laughs> you know about my, you my tail my... wagging between my legs, as it were. So you can probably just come in behind him without him noticing, then just knock him out. <clears throat> Uh, right. <laughs> Welcome to the stream! We don't do anything right! <laughs> Would you like some tea? So, can I can I roll to see if I manage to do that? <laughs> uh, just just one thing. Um, Muffins, can you see anything? Or is the uh, screen still Yes, blank? I can now! I can see! Finally. Right. Uh, what for what's got your for reasons that I cannot even begin to explain, there's a little, like, tick box in your character token information, which yeah. says, has sight. <laughs> Yours was unticked. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I don't know why. <laughs> this little cat go back to the temple and pray for their souls. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> why didn't you pray for Ame's soul? Uh, okay. So now that I have my full ocular capacity, I am more than just man. I am Mungo. <laughs> Posh Mungo. Right. Okay, so what are we doing first? Okay. So do I manage to get like by him? Does he just does it the naked side of me <laughs> distract him enough that I can scarper through the door? Um, it you, you managed to like distract him enough that he starts he, that he like bashes a fist against the door, as in to rouse other people. Oh, great! Which door? The one behind him. I'm assuming the one behind. He just him. went through the one you just opened. Uh, yep. Wait, what? Oh, you have gotta be fucking kidding me! So you he naturally hear this, Victor. So, so what are you going to do? So I've heard. The dude <clears throat> knock on the left wall, I assume. You've and... heard this entire conversation. So can I hear anything coming? So can I hear guards as we're coming from this way? When you uh, mungo, make you don't quite check. Understand. When you mungo, you don't quite understand why Odor is getting naked. I say. <laughs> but it does arouse you. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not quite sure about that. <laughs> Oh. Okay, well it's low, but you can still manage to hear the sound of an armored person coming along the coming along the corridor. Guys, it's finally here. Die hard time. Let's go. Okay, right. Okay, well with this sudden fuck up, I'm gonna head on out. No idea what you mean. Close the door behind me. Do that thing where you know where you, <laughs> they, they do it faster. They, they go right. They're right up to the door. Then they you know swivel around the door and then close it. Yep. Um. Oh, okay, hold on. Is Odo just rushed in there? I didn't move her uh, line when we thought, yeah, I um, rushed in there, I guess. We haven't gone in there. Well, apart from Odo. Yeah. Okay, is Mongo still there? Vic just nearly did, but then Odo kind of distracted that problem. <laughs> is Mongo still there? Okay. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, Mongo's still there. Okay, well, I'm going to move up to... I'm going to move down to here. Um... Oh. Okay, I'm gonna wait and see what what the guard does first, and then I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait and see what he does first. So, I'm I've moved over to this corner. And I'm just gonna see what happens first. <laughs> okay. Should be interesting. I'm just, I'm just oh. gonna. I, you, know, you know what? Flying. You know what? Flying. I agree. I need different music for this. <laughs> Let's music. get on. Oh, baby! No, no. See you, no. John, baby. Far more right, stupid well. music. <laughs> Did you just slam your wrist down the one that you sprained earlier? Mm -hmm. It was my knuckle. Well done. You're a silly Billy, man. I'm so smart. There we go. There's the <clears> dog <throat> music. What a game! For anyone who's interested, the music player is presently playing at the moment is Kevin McLeod Golly Gee. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin McLeod doesn't. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Well, okay, Odo, as you step through into the rather well lit kind of corridor to the left, to the right hand side of the reception, um, you hear a fist bang against the door, and then you hear a person, a, a person with a chain shirt, come running along the corridor. And he bars the way with his longsword. 
and asks you very firmly to leave this area. Oh, um, I'm sorry, is this not the changing room? <laughs> I I bought this gown, you see. It's very nice. Are you trying to be posh? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Mike. I bought this gown. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Um, do you like it? <laughs> Are you going to try and hit on men? Are we even role-playing anymore? I've What's got happened no to this? I don't know. I don't know. I'm drunk, mate. The usual way I am. So yeah, I, 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 assume, I, I, I tell him that I thought I was walking into a dressing room and uh, I was trying on some clothes. <laughs> His response line. So that door is lo that door is usually kept locked. How did you get it open? It was open. Maya usually be locked, but wasn't this time. Usually doesn't always mean always. Got to remember that. <laughs> usually implies sometimes. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! I, I, I just got a massive burn. Daniel's a bin. Ame had no soul. He was a soulless aristocrat, <laughs> evil to the core. Okay, sorry. Oh, my. <laughs> wow. Just talking about. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Much venom. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Additionally, sir, why are you naked? Where are your clothes? Yeah, that wasn't his first question. I'm not naked. I'm wearing a lovely gown. Okay, hold on. At some point, you have to roll for a successful nakedness, <laughs> perhaps a dexterity check to check successfully, not entangle oneself on the robes. No, we're all professionals. <laughs> <laughs> um, they take 20 on that. Yeah. <laughs> we just take 20, it only takes us seconds. <laughs> Do you know what as well? I was gonna have this epic, I, I'm sure I was gonna have this epic like, <laughs> like time where I was just gonna sneak past all the guards, not kill anybody, find Gronus and just get on out. All right, let's just, okay. Basically we've established that there's gonna be deaths. So can I just charge in yeah. there, kill people? Your character Please. could do what he likes. Doesn't have to listen to us. I, I'm, I'm just like, I'm... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm, I'm saying I'm gonna charge in there and kill him. Okay, and... basically, you're my. I'm gonna say my backup plan was you, basically. <laughs> okay, <so>. let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Holy I'm shit. staying at let's the go, uh, let's go. the receptionist. <clears throat> Mongo, um, charging it. I I jump towards the wall. <laughs> in in hope not to get hit by Mongo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, when I see okay, Mongo... Okay, so Mongo, I presume then that you're... You first. I was going to say, when when I see Mongo charging, I'm going to instantly go to this door. You can do what you want while you... After that. Whatever. Okay. Deal with Mongo. So, yeah, Mong Mongo, I presume then that you're attacking this guard. Yeah. Would I be correct in that? Yes, you would. Can't go towards the wall. Was... Oh. He's oh. probably hard as nails as well. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to this. Okay, let's put some actual battle. Well, it is it is worth noting that on your own you have a party level of two. Yeah. <laughs> but that in mind, uh, would you like to roll for initiative? Yeah. You know, I don't know whether this deserves battle music. <laughs> I really don't. I, I still kind of feel the stupid music is more fitting. I'm gonna, you guys continue. I'm gonna let the chat choose. <laughs> but, but what, right? Why would the others even posh Mongo that no, don't no, get naked? I've lost my initiative, guys. I'm I'm so lost in myself. Put the uh, the Pokemon, Pokemon battle music in. Can, it's, uh, it's yeah, it's quite right. Uh, <clears throat> if it wasn't going on YouTube, oh. my initiative is four because it's the same as your dexterity bonus, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, unless yes. you have like improved initiative, which you don't. Okay, well, okay well, Mongo goes first, which is good because yes. that means he gets the first swing as he charges at this guard. Oh, nice one. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, my Masterwork Axe Orc Double. Yep, Masterwork Orc Double Axe. So cool. No? So cool? So cool? Right. And uh, it's Very metal. two weapon fighting, which I'm pretty sure I only get like the minus two. Screen, screen goes to tower in reception, elevator music playing. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure that I get to do two attacks with it. One at a plus 12, one at a plus 10, I think. Because I've got a improved I... two weapon fighting. Yes, you can. This yep. is correct. Nice. Okay, I've, I've been doing my homework, guys. <laughs> Slash roll 1d20 plus 12. First attack. While this is going on, by the way, I, I, uh, I chimed the door. You chimed the door? Yeah. Okay, and both of those hit. Both of them hit? <laughs> yep, both of them. And so they're both 1d8 damage. So, slash okay. 2d8. Eh, not bad. Yeah. So, 10 damage on the guard. Uh, you <coughs> charge through the uh, doorway. Uh, slightly, so sort of like grazing the guard as he tries to quickly to move out of the way, very badly on his side. Yeah. And then you spin around and manage to lodge the uh, over the over axe of your double or of your double axe in his in his opposing shoulder. There is quite a bit of blood. Yeah you may not go into rage rage at this particular moment though, because that will have to happen happen at the start of your next turn. Um, sure. This, naturally, means that the guard screams out in pain. Yeah! Um, and he then naturally moves to defend himself as well. So what is your AC? Pardon? <clears throat> My AC? What is your AC? Your armor uh, class. It's, uh, touch AC, or...? Just general. I can't find it. I'm so lost! Anything to, de it's anything it's to declare, sir? You're if right. you can find the touch chase, you can find the normal AC. It, it's, it's 18. It's 18. I okay. I should mention this guy has a plus 8 on his attack. Is that it? It's enough. Yeah. So you get <laughs> So, the guard, still howling in pain, drawing the attention, no doubt, of everyone within a 5 mile radius, Yep. Uh, stabs at you with his longsword for 1d8 plus 2. Not as much as you, but he only got the one attack. So that is 10 points of damage to you as well. 